This is lesson B 1.3 on species. The objective is to define what a species is and describe why this can sometimes be complicated. The keywords and the outcomes are to identify organisms, species, genus and species from its binomial name, to compare members of the same species and hybrids, and explain why it isn't always to define what exactly a species is using examples of ring species. Firstly, let's start with some classification revision. Every organism is put into different groups, and these are the groups here. It starts with the least specific kingdom and goes down to the species. So the different kingdoms include plants, animals, fungi, protectista, and prokaryotes. Let's exemplify this classification system using an example. And in this example, the organism is an animal. It has a backbone. It belongs to the mammal group. It's a carnivore. It's a type of cat. It belongs to a group of cats in the Panthera genus. And its species is Leo. This particular organism's common name is a lion. The binomial naming system is the name given to every type of organism which is made up of its genus and species. The first name denotes its genus and the second its species. The first word you will notice starts with a capital letter and the second word is all in lower case and it tends to all be written in italics. Let's look at a few examples. The binomial name for a polar bear is Ursus maritimus and the binomial name for a cow is Bos taurus. So, with the polar bear this Ursus name, that denotes the organism's genus, and Maritimus denotes the organism's species. So in the case of the cow, Bos is the cow's genus, and Taurus is the cow's species. Another example is the brown grizzly bear. The two bears belong to the same genus, Ursus, however they are of a different species, the brown grizzly bear belonging to the species Arctus. Why aren't the two bears the same species then? So, the definition of a species. Members of the same species can breed together and they have fertile offspring. So these two lines are members of the species Leo and their offspring should grow up to be able to have children of its own. The definition of a species can be complicated by hybrids. Hybrids generally are formed when two different species breed, they have offspring, however that offspring is infertile. Examples of this include mules, which are the offspring of a male donkey and a female horse, z-donks, which are the offspring of zebras and donkeys, ligers, made from tigers and lions, and growler bears from grizzly bears and polar bears. So, in summary, a species has fertile offspring, but a hybrid is infertile. So this family tree here clearly shows that lions are of the same species because they can have offspring, which then can also have offspring, and their offspring can also have offspring. So there is fertility throughout the generations. Hybrids, however, are infertile, for example, if a horse and a donkey have a mule, and then another horse and a donkey have another mule, those two mules are unable to breed successfully. Where then are the complications with classifying what a species is? Some species can have hybrids, and sometimes the hybrids are fertile. For example, mallard ducks can breed with lots of different types of ducks, and very often they have offspring, and this offspring, which is a hybrid, is still fertile. So for example, this mallard duck may mate with this other species of duck, and they may be able to have fertile offspring. Also, there can be lots of variation within a species, so this makes it difficult to decide which animals or which organisms belong to the same species. For example, these two are both mallard ducks, yet there's lots of variation between the two of them because they look very different. 
There is also evidence from ring species which shows that neighbouring species can often mate with each other, however the further away they move from the, mate, from the neighbour the less likely they are able to mate with them. An example of a ring species is gulls. On the diagram we can see the gulls are living in different geographical areas and on the diagram it gives the common name of each type of gull. Now the neighbouring gulls can generally mate with each other and they have fertile offspring. This suggests then that they're the same species. So we might think because the American herring gull can have offspring with a vague gull and this offspring tends to be fertile, they're the same species and the Baruda gull can mate with the vega gull and they can also have offspring which is fertile they are also of the same species. However, it's less likely the American herring gull will be able to mate successfully with the Barula's gull, so these two are more likely to not be able to have offspring or to form a hybrid. Another example of a ring species is Encetina salamanders found on the west coast of America. These are a ring species because again, if you imagine the species originates around here, then the salamander picta is able to probably breed successfully and have fertile offspring with its neighbours and possibly these salamanders that are further away. But as you move further away from this original spot, you can see that the variation between the salamanders gradually increases. This is probably because of differences in the geography of the two areas. This salamander may have mutated to be better camouflaged, for example, in a forest area, and this salamander may have grown smaller and um, shows less of a pattern because it may have a habitat which is more of a desert-like area. So, hopefully by now we can understand what the definition for a species is and why it's sometimes difficult to classify members of a species. We can identify the organism's genus and species from its binomial name, compare members of the same species and hybrids, and explain why it isn't always easy to find what a species is, and do this using the example of a ring species. Let's go over a quick quiz to test our knowledge. Number one, an American robin's binomial name is Turdus migratorius. What is its species? What is the definition of a species? How are hybrids created? And give two complications when classifying organisms as different species.